Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I have another Michaels haul to share with you. Okay, today's been a crazy day because my husband's car broke down, it wouldn't work, couldn't get it to start, so we had to get it towed, we had to hurry up, take, I had to, had to take my son to school, and then had to take my husband to work, and um, next to his, where he works, um, there's a Michaels next to it, so I thought, you know, after all that craziness this morning, um, I thought I'll take a walk in Michael's just to, you know, calm down and everything because everything that was going on. And I ended up buying things that I probably shouldn't have. I got more than I wanted to. I want I went there specifically for storages because I want to find storages for my 6x6 paper pads. And um, I don't like those 12x12s trying to like say, you know, it was always that last little bit they overlap and just, you know, they just don't line up right. So I've been trying to find one that's six you know over six inches high so i could have them standing upright and i just haven't been lucky out but since then um i did find this one which i have one of these already you know that has all of the little photo cases in here i can get one out you know so you can put like photos in here but i always store you know like other little things in these um so i thought this would be great for junk journals because um you know, I've been cutting things out and I want them sorted out. And so, you know, I can put, you know, all flowers in here or animals or, you know, whatever dogs in them and whatnot. So I can keep them all organized and not get bent up or anything. So then I didn't realize it till I got home. I started thinking this whole plastic part that holds all those little ones. Well, I got my um, six by six paper pads to see if it would fit in there. You know, all of these. And look at this. They fit in there perfectly. And I can close it. So I am excited. Although this one kind of, you gotta line it up like just right. It's kind of wonky, but I got it and it works. Finally, I found one and it still has a little bit of room. But yeah, all my six by six paper pads can fit in there now. Which I'm fine. I'm fine with these not being in there. So at least, you know, I got a case now. I can put all those in there. And, you know, I can just go like this going through them, you know, instead of having them laying down. Because there were ones that were made for, you know, laying down. But they were so thin, you know, you couldn't fit that many. They probably like this many and that was it. So I'm like, is it really worth paying that much? And all their storage stuff was 40% off. I think this was originally $19.99. And so 40% um, off the I also had a five dollar voucher as well so I brought it down to eleven forty eight and there's six of these little ones in there and then this big one so it's like seven containers you know it's a little bit more than what I would normally go spend for storages but it had everything that I was going for in one so it worked um the other things that I got that were regular price Oh, I found these ones. You know those little, like, little cubbies, you know, when, you, you know, the line to line up to cash out? Well, they had these for 99 cents. And look at them. They're like little tags. There's a circle tag, a rectangle tag, and this heart tag. And so they kind of look like dog tags. They're a little bigger than what I was going for, but, because I've been looking for dog tags, too. But it looks like I'm going to just have to start making my own. And so they have four in each one, and it even has the little, um thingamajiggies the key rings on it so and then um what was it they were 99 cents and then i got 20 percent off them and then the voucher on top of it so i thought it was worth it so i got these they also had a butterfly one too but i'm like how many dogs have a butterfly tag granted i could see that happening but these are more common tags than butterflies so i got these three and then I was looking in their jewelry, trying to see if there was any snails or, you know, certain things for gardens. And I didn't find any snails. They didn't really have anything snails at all. I was kind of bummed out. I even looked through their stamps and I couldn't find any. But um, I couldn't remember if I got this one or not. But they have all these little doggy paw prints on here. And these ones were, was it 40 or 50% off? I can't remember. Or no, at least 20% off. I don't think these were on sale. So I only got 20% off on these. But these ones were originally $3.99. The red tags were $3.99. So I got these little dog tags. And then I got these teeny tiny little flowers. 
I thought those would be great for in junk journals. And for the snail garden, I thought that would go great with it. And then I just, I had to get this. This was too stinking cute. These dino ones. Like, look at that. Every time I just have to get something dinosaurs because of my son. He loves dinosaurs. But there's a silver stegosaurus. Um, looks like a gold T-Rex. They got this aqua blue triceratops and then this pink pink parasaurolophus because I do have a paper pad from Hobby Lobby that had like girls and boys dinosaurs so I'll use that charm for when I make a girls dino album in the future which I can use this blue with that girl one too but you know these three I could definitely use for boys so I just I had to get it they were so stinking cute I think they were really $4.99 and I think these ones were half off which was your favorite the gold silver blue or pink all, all, the pink, silver, blue, and gold. He likes them all. He likes them all. <laughs> okay, yeah, none of their beads were, or charms were on sale, but I did get 20% off of all of them. And then I found these really pretty keys, and they have that whole patina look to it. And I was him hawing back and forth, I'm like, man, is this really worth it? Because I can't remember if they were $3.99 or $4.99, but you get 20 of them in there. And they also have the, um, whatchamacallit on there jump ring already on there but I love the look of them and since there was 20 in there and I got 20% off plus you know the $5 voucher on it so I thought you know okay I'll give in and then this one had 36 of them in there and you know there's silver gold and copper ones in here and they're little and so I thought these would be really cute to hang on to junk journals and stuff so and scrapbooking you know cards albums you name it they were just so cute so I thought those were worth it and then I was looking in their sewing stuff and I was trying to find sunflower fabric, which is like impossible to find apparently. But I did find um, these that were, what was it, like $1.49. And um, then I got another 20% off on them. But this one has um, coral reefs on it and I like the colors, you know, the blues and greens. They got gray and like turquoise in here. And then this one had these really pretty um, seahorses in here, blue and green. Isn't that pretty? So I had to get those for junk journals. And then this one just has um, starfish and seashells on it. Oh, and they do have some blue on it. I didn't see the blue in it. But isn't that so pretty? And um, then I found this one. It's not sunflower, but you know, the whole gingham I thought the yellow that would go great with the sunflower and even my yellow one so I did get that this one's just 18 by 21 so and then I got I remember it was I can't remember the original price but I got 20% off on it so and then the five dollar voucher and then when I was down there looking at those fabrics I saw these really cute wooden buttons um they're three-fourths of an inch and there's 18 of it in here but look at the pretty flowers on there there's a couple different ones in here. Like they have those ones, those ones, and then I love those roses. I love those ones. But they were so cute. So I got those. And then these stickers were only 99 cents. I think there's only one sheet of it. But yeah, see, they're 99 cents. And they had sunflowers on it, so of course I had to get it. Granted, it's more fall, but... It was really pretty, so I got one of them, and then I got 20% off of it, so, and then the $5 voucher. And then, um, I was looking for sunflowers, and then I found these, which reminds me a lot like the ones that I get at Hobby Lobby. Um, they have all these stickers. They're so cool. But these ones, they don't have duplicates of it. They only have, like, one of each. And hard to believe, they had a sunflower one, but they were all out of them. Go figure. They're originally $5.99. I think the ones at Hobby Lobby, aren't they like $4.99? But these ones got 24 stickers in here. I got this one that has butterflies in it. And these are all, you know, it's got little bees, dragonflies, bumblebee. It was really cute. I thought it was worth it. I will even use this um, packaging and I'll definitely cut out those butterflies without a doubt. But these are all the butterflies. Isn't that pretty? This dragonfly. This moth. Look at this big bumblebee. 
so cute. So some of them look kind of like real, and then some of them look like illustrations. Ooh, look at that dragonfly. They were just so cute. That one looks like it's got like golden with it. Love that one. See, these ones are really like whimsical, you know, like drawings. But you don't get dragonflies that often. And those are really big. Look at that giant ladybug. I can use this in the snail garden too. And some of these butterflies I can use. That one's so pretty. Look at all those ones. These are great for cards. You know, like stick that on and then have your saying there and you're done. I wonder how well they stick though. Oh, they do have the flip down there so it's easy to take off. Oh, they actually are pretty sticky. Look at that. I just have like the tad bit of my finger on there. It's really sticking, so. Hmm. Oh, this one didn't print well. Oh, bummers. I'll still use it though, somehow. But that was worth it, I thought. I don't know what is up with me and these type of stickers. I keep going after them. I got more than enough. But these ones were new. I never seen these ones. And they had them not at all at one spot. They kind of had them scattered in sections. Like they had all the animal ones together. And then they had these flower ones and these tree ones at like another section. And then they had some like Christmas ones. Um, it had like Christmas trees. And then it had one with snowflakes in it at like another section. That's why they were kind of scattered all over. You kind of had to really look for all of them. Because at first I thought these were all of them that they had. And then found out there was more. And then I found doggy ones, which of course I had to get. These are all the little doggies. So I'll definitely cut them out and use that for the doggy journal. But it, I'm going to use like all of these. Because yeah, I've been looking for, you know, illustrations of dogs. I love it. And each one of them is different. So it has a good variety of them. Oh, look at the little dash hound. That looks like a Boston Terrier. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, that's perfect for a uh, Lady and the Tramp. Uh, what was that one's name? Yeah, the Bloodhound was trusty, and then, uh, what was this one called? The Scotty. Was it Jack or something? I can't remember the name. I'll have to read the book again. Oh, these are so cute. A little Yorkie. And then there's bigger dogs. There's a Husky. Look at all them. Aw, look at that big smile. Oh, so cute. And you know, you can just put them on uh, paper and then use them as big tags. Oh, look at that. I'm so sad. Oh, look at that bulldog. Chihuahua. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the German Shepherd. The Corky. Oh my gosh, I love them all. I'm so using these in my junk journal. So I think I got these. What was it five ninety nine twenty percent off? Was I got another twenty one cents off? So I brought it down to four fifty eight, I think, which isn't a great deal, but I love them so much. And then there was a dinosaur one, so of course I had to get those. Unlike the ones at Hobby Lobby, they only have like eight designs, and then you get like four of each. But these ones, each one is completely different. Look at these dinosaurs. It looks like an Aptosaurus, Parasaurolophus. Look, they got this. Skeleton of a Triceratops. Um, that looks like an Iguanodon. Deinonychus. You know, look at all these. They are so cool. Look at all these skeletons. Can I see? Stegosaurus. Wow. Bronchiosaurus. Whoa, a pterodactyl. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that with the trees. It's a T-Rex. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Oh, there's one of those flying lizard ones. Oh, I think that's an Amorite. I think you're right. Oh, look at the dino eye. I think a lost raptor eye. And then a dino egg. A stegosaurus, mm -hmm. a T-Rex, a T-Rex footprint, and then a woolly mammoth. Oh, you're right. They do. That is so cool. And there's like another egg. So that was worth it, I thought. That's a really good variety. Ooh. I like these a lot. And then, of course, I got the tiny ones to cut out. 
And then I found an underwater one, which of course I had to get because I love anything and everything to do with water. Look, look at these jellyfish. Oh, all these seahorse. Look at this shark. Starfish. Can oh. I see the shark? That's one of the sharks. No, 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 Oh, and a jellyfish. Mm-hmm. Got a green jellyfish. And a turtle. Sea turtle. A Look fish. Look at all the tropical fish. Oh, there's one. a whale. Sorry, my little man hit the camera, but yeah, there's a great white shark. And then look at this octopus. It's so giant. It's I love cute. him. Yeah. I love him. Ooh. Another seahorse. I love all these tropical fish. There's the lionfish. What is that one? Um... That's an orca. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's like a shark whale because that's a blue sick. whale. A dolphin, which Ooh. I love. Those Ooh. are my favorite. I, I, I like this blue one because it's light blue, and I really like light Sea blue. turtle oh, and hammerhead sharks. Wow. They are so cool. <gasps> another dolphin. That's even better. Uh -oh. Another octopus and another whale. It's like a humpback whale. I love them all. I would have gotten two of these <laughs> if they weren't. When they're on sale, maybe I'll get another one. I don't know. And then I found a birdie one. Like, Ooh. look at these birds. These are so cute. And they're like watercolor paint. I like them. They are so adorable and so well done. Mm -hmm. They are pretty big, but great for cards and stuff. Well, I will... Well, everyone I oh, hang there's like a female cardinal, and then there's the male cardinal. So those two together would be so cute. Well, and I think that this is a robin, sort of. No, it's a cardinal. See, it's got the thing on its head, and then it's got the black there. They're known for being red. It's a cardinal. I think it's a robin, everyone. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Oh, and look at that one. Isn't that like a parakeet? A bluebird. Oh, I like that one in the nest. That one's got a little nest. This is great for spring. Wow. There's a type of parrot. So you got a nice variety. That looks kind of like Ooh, a, a hummingbird. It it is a hummingbird. And then a bluebird. Oh, they even got an owl. Which they're nocturnal. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, I forgot the name of that one. Oh, there's just so many in here. Oh, there's a sparrow. And another owl, and, a, owls. And, a, and another owl. So that is fantastic. I didn't see the owls in there. So, the, yeah, and I'll even cut out all of these. That is great. Ooh, a zoo one. I, I like the zoo. I go to there a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I got one with wild animals in it. Ooh, wild animals. I like wild animals. I like the animals in the wild. Me too. Ooh. The, 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 this time it's my turn. So, oh, what was the last one? Okay, can you see that one? Oh, I like that. Oh, this is fun. Okay, first there's an elephant. Mm hmm. Then, um, what's this a, one called? A meerkat and a gorilla, a cheetah. Actually, uh, that's a leopard. Oh. Oh, and there's a little bird. <laughs> the 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 dogs just lying there like a like tiger tiger and 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 a female lion. It's a cub, lion cub. Oh. <laughs> and uh, what's the black and white stripes? Zebra, a flamingo, a pumba, <laughs> a warthog. But yes, a pumba is. Uh, what's this? Um, a snake. And I get, don't they call uh, these ones African buffaloes? Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. And then what is this? Ooh, I think it's a spotted leprechaun. Cheetah, what? cheetah. cheetah. <laughs> um, these are wild dogs, wild African dogs. What's Ooh, that? a hippopotamus and a rhino, an elephant, a zebra, a baby zebra. Those goat thingies. Gazelle. <laughs> yeah, gazelles. Um, Wilda, Wilda's beast, giraffes, vultures. 
That's the crown crane and a, a lion. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that kind of crane. Hope he didn't scare you too much. But aren't those so cute? So this will be even great for um, albums, you know? And, like have your photo next to it and scrapbooking. And we love going to the zoo. We love animals and just for junk journals. So I have so much use for these. And I love how they're illustrations. They're not, you know, actual photos. They did have a farm one, but those ones were like actual photos of the animals. I wanted the illustrations, you know? Oh, yeah. So I didn't get that one. But I did get this one with the cats. Since I got the dogs, I have to do the cats because apparently I'm going to, in the future, do a cat journal, too. I, I'm going to say cat, cat, cat. First, we got a cat and a cat. Isn't that cute? That one's pretty. And a cat. And a cat. And a f and a family of cats. Oh, yeah. There's lots of kitties on that one. It, it, it's and, you know, you can even cut them apart separately. They're all in a couch. It's a family. This looks like maybe a Siamese cat. A cat and a cat. So each one of them are different in their own way. And, and oh, this cat, one's definitely a Siamese cat. That and was cute. Cat, and the blue eyes. And a cat. And oh, a I love cat, that one. And a, and a ball of yarn. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, and, look at that one. And a cat. And a cat. There's another Siamese one. And a cat. And a cat. <laughs> Big the, white fluffy one. A gray and one. And a cat. And a cat. And a cat, and a cat, and a cat, and a cat's cat, head. and a cat. So I have one that's like a bunch of them on the couch, and then they got a ball of yarn, and then they got, you know, whole body ones, and then just the headshots. So that was worth it. There's 24 different ones. And then last but not least, I got this really adorable ones that had all like woodland theme and they were so cute. So I'll use this for woodland journal and then also for like baby journals because they were just so adorable. Especially there's like a bunny in here. A bear and... What's this? A hang of foxes. A wolf. A wolf. And um, a hedgehog. Yeah. Don't hit the camera. Um, I hang a mouse. Yep, it's a mouse. What is this one? A fox. Yeah, a red that fox, one's a fox. And a wolf sleeping. Mm hmm And a deer. Yeah, it was really pretty. I, I like how it's so big and I liked it. You know what one? Because you can see like 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 everyone does hunt deers and I, my favorite part is that they have antlers, but there's these two things sticking out, but I don't know why. That's a part of the antler. Yeah, you found one when you were taking a w walk in the woods, and you found one. Yeah, that blowed my eyes <laughs> Blew apart. your mind. Um, you know what this is? Um, I, do, I do not know. It's a badger. And then look at this one. This one is so cute. It's a little squirrel. Is that adorable? So I thought this would be good for, you know, baby ones, too. I'm so <laughs> this is a hare, a little bunny, um, a deer, you know, look at these adorable ones, fox, there's a raccoon, an owl, you know, another squirrel, sorry, he keeps bumping the phone, don't touch it. I am gonna keep it still. I know, but you're really wobbly. There's an owl, oh. what's this one? What's that picture of? Oh, hold on, just let me hang up that name just for a an elk. Um, nope, you're close. Um, a moose. Yup. And there's an adorable chipmunk on a little stump. He was so cute. This bunny. I I love this bunny. It's too adorable. Look at those chubby baby cheeks. And there's a big bear. Wow. And a, a bird. bird. And another, another bird. bird. A, and fe a female deer and a boy deer. A buck and a doe. So that'd be great for Christmas, you know, cards. But yeah, they were really cute. I had to get them. Now, I, now I'm just going to be in just for the stickers, everyone. Say bye-bye. Bye. I will, I'm going to be back in, I think, back in the Tuesday video. I think I will be back. All right, go play. Oh, I know. He's such a helper, right? <laughs> And then the rest of the stuff I got that was already reduced on clearance. Um, they had ribbons, which not like I need any ribbons, but I end up getting it anyways. 
Um, these were just a dollar. Oh, this one was just a quarter. This one has little keys on it, which I thought was really cool for a junk journal. I think this, oh no, this one's three yards. I thought it was just a yard, but it's three yards. So for a quarter for three yards, that's definitely worth it. Look at all those cute keys and you know, it can come up individually, make little like tag, like, I don't know, there's a lot to do with them. And then I found these two, which makes me think of Mermaid, which I do have one, but it's like a lot thicker. And I liked how these ones were thinner. You know, so they had this blue and then this like silver, but with like, you know, pink and green shining off of it. Um, these ones are only a yard and they were only a dollar. So I got one of each. You know, I was going for green for the snail garden and I found these two. Um, this one was originally $10. I got it for $3. Oh wow, there's 50 yards in here. This is five eighths of an inch and it's kind of see through. Um, but yeah, I thought that'd be nice for in the journal for a garden theme. It's really pretty. It's like that sheer ribbon. It's got that shininess to it. But wow, $3 for 50 yards. That's a lot. So I guess that was worth it. Um, this one, um, had to tape it. It's got kind of wrinkly, but originally $10. This was $5. It is an inch and a half thick, and this one has 15 yards. And it does have the metal wire on the side, so it's nice doing like bows and stuff. But if you don't want that, you know, you can simply, you know, you just gotta go on the side and get it, and you can pull it right out with no problem. But I thought, you know, for belly bands and stuff, for the garden, snail garden, I thought this was a really nice green, and you know, woodland themes, and so many things I can use this for. So. For that for five dollars i thought it was okay because it was the only one left that i found and then um i ended up getting one of these ones this one was three dollars i know what the original price was but this one is an inch and half as well and this is 15 yards this is kind of like that first green one it's got like that see-through to it but it's brown and so i thought this would go good with woodland themes and again you just take that metal and you just pull it right out if you don't want it and then you can also do, you know, little things like this. You know, there's so many things you can do with these. A lot of people's like, oh, it's wire, and then they don't want it, but don't realize all the things that you can do with it. So just because it's wire doesn't mean that's all you can do with it. Actually, I think you can do more with the wired ones than just regular ones. But yeah, I don't have any brown, so I thought that could go with it and for three dollars for 15 yards and then I found these adorable little whales these ones were 50 cents um there's four of them in here these little wood veneers and or wood shapes I thought this would be great for um baby boy journals you know I do have some paper that has um whales in it you know like whales and anchors and crabs and stuff like that and I thought this would be great on an album of that so I thought that was just so cute and you know and I love having one here because I can paint them and use pretty much any mixed media I want and boss on them so for 50 cents for four of them I thought that was really really cute so I got it they had these little um school stuff that was 70 was it 70 or 75 percent off 70 I think it was 75 if not 70, 70 or 75% off, but they had a lot of these and um, a lot of them had like glittery covers on it. But this one I liked it cause it was solid. I liked the color, which actually matches my shirt today, kind of, which is kind of funny because my hands were getting full. So I hurried up and set stuff down on a shelf down the center aisle, or whatever. And I hurried up and went and grabbed a basket. And I would put it back and I was putting my stuff in the basket. And all of a sudden this lady asked me, is this the only section where there's flowers? I'm like, I don't know. I don't work here. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm sorry. You just looked so well and like you worked here. And I'm like, I'm just wearing a, this shirt and then a blue jeans. Like, I didn't know I looked like I was dressed to work, but that's not my first time. I get that a lot. Actually, I had that happen at, um, Bath and Body Works or no Bed Bath and Beyond. I had it. Um, I've had it at my husband's job I've had it many times because I'm always waiting there and I'm like organizing things <laughs> waiting for them to get out of work there's so many times I get asked and they think I'm working but I'm not I, I don't know but um anyways um it's got this little velcro or not velcro but elastic here and you know they just like little index cards I thought they were really cool 
and so I could add those in journals. And it's got the ring on it, and I liked this color, and there's so many in here. Does it say how many? There's a hundred sheets in here, and it was originally a dollar ninety nine, and then I got oh seventy percent, seventy or seventy five percent off, and then I got part of that five dollar voucher, so they subtracted a dollar thirty nine from it. So whatever is left, that's how much it cost me for this. So nine eight seven six. So what was it sixty cents, fifty nine or sixty cents? It cost me, I think. So I thought it was worth it. And then I was when I was looking at their stickers, I found some that they still had on clearance. This was originally three ninety nine. It was the only one. It's all messy and it's all over the place. But I thought they were so pretty, and I wish they had more. But it was only two dollars. There's fifty of them. But look at the flowers on all these letters. It's like all over the place, but it was the only one they had left. So I had to get it. Those are so pretty. And see, they even got like the petals cut up around it and they're like chipboard alpha stickers. And then I even like the um, packaging. It looks like wood grain. So I end up getting it. <laughs> and um, I end up getting this one. It's originally $3.99. I got it for $2 because my son is in karate class. So I thought, you know, I don't have anything like this. So scrapbooking you know when he um gets his testing you know i thought that'd be a cool thing um this part you know a lot all of them were like past it like it wasn't cut correctly so luckily this last one that i looked at that one was a lot better but for two dollars for 10 pieces i thought why not and then i found this one which i thought was really cool this one wasn't this one was originally 3.99 i got for two dollars it's got 23 pieces this one's from the paper house but isn't this cool? This would be great. Like it's already done for you for on a cover of an album. Or if you did like a summer traveling journal or whatever, jump journal. That is so cool. Fun in the sun. And I do have like other stickers and stuff kind of like this. The whole tropical vibe and those colors. And then it also came with these stickers as well. It's got watermelon, you know. Look at this frame. Isn't that so cool? And they're clear stickers. I know, it's just really cool. So for $2, I thought it'd be fun to try out. And then I found this and found the clearance aisle. And I thought it was really cool. It's this really nice blue. But um, it's not like the normal tool that I got. It's like a lot thicker, like bigger holes in it. Can you see the holes in it? So I thought that was a really cool texture. Um, it says there's a yard in here. 100% nylon. Matte net. Um, they were originally going to sell it for a dollar ninety nine a yard, and I got it for ninety nine cents. I never seen you know scraps like this at um, Michaels. I always find scraps like this at um, Hobby Lobby. So I don't know. I like the color, and I thought this would be fun in beach theme stuff. You know, I can use this as like blue netting. I don't know, I like the texture to it. It's just different and it's bigger than normal tool and stuff. So I don't know, I liked it. So I got it for 99 cents. Um, this isn't anything special. This was in, you know, their um, clearance aisle. Uh, but it's really thick, like really, really thick fabric. Um, it was originally $7.99 and I got it for $1.60. It's 100% cotton. 46 inches half a yard so I thought that wasn't too bad I thought this would be great for you know the spine of journals and stuff so I know I end up getting it it's super thick I love the texture of it this one's a little bit more pricey but it was so pretty this would originally be $6.99 seven dollars um it's 100 cotton and I got it for $3.49 it's three sixteenth of a yard so that's why it's not that much but they originally would have sold this for seven dollars but there's all these pretty butterflies in here and there's actual like gold you know like in gold foil so i had to it's like the last little scrap they had left of it i can't believe they would sell this for seven dollars a yard that's crazy but yeah I end up giving it and I end up getting it because it was so pretty. And I can even fussy cut out some of those flowers and stuff. 
again, this would be good in the spine and on covers and flips and plops and... Because you don't need a lot for junk journals. It was just so pretty. I had to get it. And then last but not least, down their clearance aisle, they had these huge um, punches, like huge ones. And they were like $15 on clearance. But I found this one that was originally $18.99 and I got it for $10. And it's like this giant tag. Isn't that awesome? So it's like th it's almost three inches from here to here. Um, it's two and 11 sixteenths of an inch. So I thought that'd be really cool for in junk journals and whatnot. And for originally being almost $20 and get it for $10, I thought it was worth it. So, and that one is Recollections, which actually I want to try it. I'm just going to use one of these index cards, which also these index cards are thinner than normal index cards, by the way. But let's put it in and see how well it works. Oh yeah, that cuts good. Look at that. That is so cool. See, I don't have any tag punches like that. That's so much easier than die cuts and stuff, but look at that. That's so cute. So that was worth it, I think, for just $10 for this honking thing. <laughs> they are so huge. Normally I don't go for one. I don't have any of them this big. This thing is humongous. But for $10, I thought it was worth it. So... Look in your clearance because you never know what you're going to find. Just want to let you know, I just fit all of those stickers inside of just one of these. I got them all layered inside of there and it shuts no problem. I did all but the dogs because I want to keep them up for the doggy journal. And then I left the dino ones up because I want that for a different purpose. But I have all of them in there, all the collections I just got. And then I put the um, packaging on the bottom because I want to cut out the pictures on there. But I fit all of them in there. So that was definitely worth it. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.